makes the turn and the doctor goes with him and Nixon brings the ball across to the attack and he goes in low. Right there in behind Julius. Jamal on his way. Game's first field goal. I would think that they would roll Jones and Magic in and out as far as offensive center. They both are very capable in the middle. Collins comes back for the Sixers. We can sort out the matchups. Magic matched against Caldwell on the turnover. Wilkes breaks free. Julius there. Nixon on the left. Two on one. They go back inside to Wilkes. Pretty pass. Did they give you a 10 footer, take an 8 footer? Pick up the big foul. Three team fouls apiece, Hot Rod. Is <laughs> Beautiful. Final had it batted away by Jones, and here's Nixon. The doctor's got the angle, and Norman will pull up. Well, he was wide open. I can't believe he didn't take that shot. He wasn't wide open. There's the dock on the layup. And the Sixers have taken their first lead at the 525 mark. Quickly back comes Wilkes, and Los Angeles regains it. I think there's a better matchup for Philadelphia with Bobby Jones in that lineup, no question. Now you got to remember when you talk about Bobby Jones, you're talking about a guy that came off the bench all year and made the all-defensive team. And that's not bad. Coming off the bench and making an all-team in anything. Landsberger is now the center with this lineup. Magic is back at guard with Nixon. Dawkins will take Jones. Julius is matched against Landsberger. And Marcus trying to play with his back to the basket. Try to set a screen down there. Wilkes maneuvering. Bobby Jones on him. Tied up Jones facing the basket. And if they win, it would force a seventh game Sunday at the Forum in Los Angeles. High noon. Hollins. Wilkes rebounds. I think the most surprising statistic of all is that Norm Nixon is scoreless. He's out. He's shooting the ball very flat. He didn't get the ball out. So they're going to try Holland. Jones goes to Wilkes on a pretty break. All five of the Lakers flowing down that time. On the interception on the lazy pass, it is that rookie again. Magic dishes Wilkes this time. Now you notice in the beginning of the game and in the third quarter here both times, Philadelphia's trying to go inside. They don't normally go inside that much. And, and, and so they're playing right into the Lakers' hands and trying to do something to take advantage of the Lakers trying to do something they don't ordinarily do. Tapped in by Wilkes off the miss on the follow. Riley and Westhead up. Riley sits back down. Now it's the doctor. Shot clock down toward 11. Julius on the set. Run is still alive as Jones yanks it away. Quickly now to Johnson. Bibby Gamble. Magic comes inside. Dishes wants Wilkes. Beautiful pass. And now it is a 14-point run. Timeout. Shot clock at 10. Jones cuts off Magic. Wilkes sends it back. Nixon, four on the shot clock. Two, one. And Jamal Wilkes at the buzzer. Builds the lead now to another field goal. It is 76-64. Los Angeles, 78. Philadelphia, 66. Jamal cuts. Mix comes with him. Up from outside. Yanked away by Jones, and Wilkes will go in for the layup. Jamal on a jump turn around. Magic Johnson's led the way with 26. Jamal Wilkes with 24. Now the din begins in the spectrum, and I suspect it will continue. Nixon works with Cooper. On its way, and now Jamal with 26. 52 points out of Wilkes and Magic. And that dry spell. Early on in the third period, really telling right now because they cannot exchange baskets. They must get a run. Cooper to Magic. Magic missed. Landsberger battles. Off comes Cheeks in a foot race. It's two on two. Cheeks looks for daylight. Dishes now to the doctor. And Julius with two in a row. And here come the Sixers. It's 88-80. Down to a minute 20 in the third period. Wilkes will take the set shot outside on its way. Jamal Wilkes now with 28 points for the Lakers. Magic Johnson leading the way with 31. Has played his heart out. Could be a touch tired right now, but he's only 20. Next into the left side. Deep into the corner. Here comes Wilkes. Wilkes in on a runner. He's got the field goal, and now Jamal Wilkes at 30 points. The man that made a big play there was Wilkes on that offensive tip in by Magic. He kept it alive, as he's done so often on that offensive board. 
This time it's Caldwell on Wilkes, and Wilkes a step quicker, goes to the glass, and it's a continuation. A big three-pointer. He caught the seven-footer out on him, put it down, went to the left, and hit the layup. And Hollins now will check in for the Sixers. And Jamal Wilkes at 32 points for Los Angeles. That's the biggest play of the game to this point. Just a super move. Vicks will come out. Uh, Daryl Dawkins is going to return for Philadelphia. Six years ago, Jamal Wilkes under Al Adels played for the Golden State Warriors when they won a world championship. One of four players in this series who can do it with two different teams. Kareem, of course, is the other one on the Lakers. He did it with Milwaukee. Who would have thought that with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar out of the lineup and back in Los Angeles that these Lakers would draw together and lead almost from start to finish with Jamal Wilkes contributing 35 also. 115-103. And Julius Irving goes to Daryl Dawkins. They must shoot quickly. 115-105-10. How about you tell you one guy that's really proud of this team? That's Kareem back home watching this. Here comes Jamal. He puts down two more. Jamal Wilkes, you're familiar with championships. Golden State, you win one. UCLA, three. How does this one compare? Oh, this is great. You know, I like to say to our captain, Kareem, you know, that he was with us all the way. We knew it before the game. It's his trophy. I like to say hello to mom and pops and my family. <laughs>